In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a low calorie, high protein trifle dessert recipe. And it's super delicious, super easy, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. So if you're looking for a dessert, if you've got a sweet tooth, keep on watching. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alex, the Sports Dietitian Nutrition Coach. Welcome again to one of my recipe videos. Thank you again for clicking and watching. But before we get into today's recipe, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay in the loop with every video that I release. So as I said in the beginning, today we're gonna to be doing a trifle recipe. It's gonna be not a traditional trifle, it's gonna be obviously a low calorie, high protein version or a macro friendly version, but it's also not gonna be completely the same as what a traditional one would have. There's gonna be some slight ingredient changes. And this is a recipe that I came across on TikTok during my you know, random scrolling that I do in the last few weeks. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the recipe that I found and we'll see how it goes. And it looks delicious, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. And yeah, you can't say no to a super easy, but low calorie dessert. I'm sure that's true. Okay, so let's, let's show you the ingredients. I'll show you exactly how it's made and go from there. Okay, so this is all you're gonna need for the super easy recipe. Obviously, the main ingredient is gonna be the jelly. So I'm gonna be using here the Jelly Life. I'm using the strawberry flavor. You can use whatever, but I just went for traditional berry because that's just the way I roll. And as you can see, we've got a bowl of it right there. I'm gonna show you what's done with that in a second. We've obviously got some fresh strawberries, about three or four of them is enough. I've got some scotch fingers, okay? Just some Aldi brand scotch fingers. And we're gonna be using the Chobani Fit Vanilla Protein Yogurt. You can use other brands, doesn't really matter. You can use normal kind of yogurt, it's not high protein. It doesn't really matter here. I wanted to use this for the higher protein content and the texture of it and the fact that it's vanilla. But as long as it's vanilla, you're good to go. Now, as you can see, there is no sponge cake here. There is no custard. So it's a bit more of a different recipe, as I said. And it's gonna be, because of that reason, we're gonna be using something different. We're gonna be using the short, the, sorry, the scotch fingers because with the sponge cake, we have nothing, you know, nothing to really absorb into it. So this is the kind of the basic ingredients of this kind of alternative version of the trifle, but it's still gonna be delicious. It's still low calories, still high protein and macro friendly. So let's whip it up and go from there. Okay, so we grab a scale, because that's what we're gonna be obviously using with every single recipe. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab yourself like a mason jar or about that size, okay? I mean, you can do it in a smaller one, you can do it in a bigger one, you can do it in a cup, it doesn't really matter. You can do it in a bowl, really, if you wanted to, but I'm gonna be using one of these mason jars. Pop that on there. Obviously, zero it out, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop some of the strawberry jelly into here. Now, as you can see the size of this thing, we're gonna be using a tub of this. So you gotta kinda of estimate, okay, how much of this to equivalent of this you're gonna need? Now, I can't remember the exact measurements on the original video on TikTok, but I'm assuming it was somewhere around 100 grams that's kind of the way I'm gonna to prefer to go to it. Okay, so what we'll do is just kind of chop it up. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna scoop that in there. Now you can, you can actually make the jelly in there as well. So you can make your jelly, pour it in, and you can have like multiple, multiple mason jars of this. So you can prepare it for the whole family or for friends if it's for a party or even for yourself. I haven't tried keeping it in the fridge for a few days, so I don't know how it would go, but I'm assuming it will go fine. Okay. So we're gonna go about 100 to 150 grams. Let's see how, how it looks. Oh, put that in there. Okay, so that's about 100 grams. I reckon I can go more. Okay, so I'm gonna go about 150 for this one. So we're gonna adjust the recipe on the fly. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? Don't drop your jelly everywhere like I'm doing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. I'm gonna leave it at that. So 150 grams of the jelly. Okay, so we're gonna zero it out now again. I guess we don't really have to zero it out for this next step. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab two scotch fingers. One is gonna go in here. It's gonna give it a nice texture through the actual jelly because remember, there's not as much liquid in this recipe. So give it like a nice texture and then the rest of it, I'm gonna show you in a second. So you can grab one of these out of here. Ta-da, with the magic of YouTube, it's just appeared in my hand, okay? So one of these we're gonna leave on the side because we're not gonna be doing the ending with that one yet. This one here, we're gonna have to smash this up and put it here, okay? So you can like break it up in your hand, you can grab a mallet or something, or you can just go Hulk smash 
and just smash it that way. Break it up in my hand. It's a bit chunky still, so I mean, if you don't like it chunky, it shouldn't really matter. Look at me, quarter of it's going everywhere. Just like that. As you can see there, that's what it should look like. Okay, so now what we do is we're gonna to have to wash this. Obviously, I just did that, but we're gonna to have to now dice these up and we're gonna put the layer of that next. So again, with the magic of YouTube, there we go, all diced up, ready to go. So what we do is just sprinkle that in there. Now, as I said, I was using about three or four three or four strawberries, so about 50 to 65 grams if we're talking technically, because I did measure it out, just in case you're wondering. And there we go, as you can see, it's looking great already. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna grab a bowl, move this away. You can, I mean, you can put it on there if you really want to, we don't have to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab the, the yogurt. So this is gonna act as our cream slash custard and all that sort of stuff. It's got the vanilla flavor plus the yogurt. So it's kind of like a combo while being high in protein and low in calorie. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these. Okay, another scotch finger. Well, technically two if you're considering each one as one. I don't know how you roll. You roll however you want to. But we're gonna break this up into this mixture so it gives us a nice texture so that every every mouthful gives you a bit of that, bit of that biscuity feeling. Okay, so what we're gonna do is not break that up just yet. Open this up. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I'm sure you can open the yogurt better than I just did there. Okay, so we're just gonna scoop this out. Now there are different ways you can do this, you know, there are protein powders out there that you can use that gives it an extra vanilla flavor. There are even like, you know, I think there, there are custody kind of yogurt, yogurts, custody protein powders out there that can give it a bit of that flavor as well. But we're not gonna go with that today. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple. This is like a recipe on the go. Okay, that's there there. Now I'm gonna do it again is crush this up. And you do like a salt bay. <laughs> Scotch finger bay. Just put that in there. Okay. It's getting dusty here. And now what I'm going to do is mix this up. Now keep in mind, I use Scotch fingers because I believe that was what the recipe called for in, on the TikTok. But you can use any kind of biscuit. Like originally I was gonna use a different type of biscuit, a Serbian kind of biscuit from my childhood. I was gonna use one of those because they're one of my favorites. You can use any biscuits that you can crush up and put in here. It doesn't really matter, okay? As long as you mix it up like that, you're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna to have to carefully layer this in there. Now for pre presentation purposes, you could have also just broken up half of that one in there and then put the rest of it on top. It's really up to you. Okay, I don't wanna stuff this one up because I need a picture so that you can go, oh, I wanna click this video. This video looks good. It's the perfect amount. As you can see, you can make multiple ones of these and just have them in the fridge for a few, a couple of nights or so, so you don't have to keep making it. I'm sure that at least one of these can fit in the fridge. Not fit in the fridge, last in the fridge for a day or so. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Sorry. Too perfect. Look at how good that looks. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, here we go. Look how good that looks. It actually looks better than I expected it to look, so that's always a positive. So now we're gonna do a taste test, tell you the macros, tell you the calories, so you know all that sort of side of things. But really, I'm just looking forward to the taste. Look at that. Woo! Okay, let's go. I'm gonna first test, actually, I'm gonna first try 
the cream, <laughs> quote unquote. Mm. I quite enjoyed my decision with the biscuits fruit. It gives it a nice texture. Now let's go deeper. Okay, grab some strawberry. Let's go, let's go grab some jelly in there as well. Oh, this is gonna be a mouthful. Mmm. That's good. Yep, highly recommend you go through like the traditional trifle and just get all the flavors into one spoonful. Woo, luckily it fell, I think, into the container. Okay. Yes, using the biscuit is a bit of a different texture to the traditional version, but still good. Doesn't really bother me at all. There's always room for more experimentation in the kitchen, I always say. Okay, enough of me eating. I'm sure you're not going to be sitting there and just wondering, ooh, I'm going to watch Alexa eat. It's probably not why you click the video. You click the video to see how you make a easy, macro-friendly, low-calorie, whatever you want to call it, dessert recipe. So now let's tell you what the calories are and the macros. So for this whole thing, for one of these big, it's actually a big, I don't know if it comes across in the video that way, but it's like a decent, like big size mason jar. It's about 295 calories. So let's round it up and say 300. It's 300 calories for that. So, I mean, that's a win. I can assure you that this much, like this whole thing of a traditional trifle, a lot more calories than 300. I can assure you for that, okay? so. 300 calories for that. It gives you about 18, 19 grams of protein. So that's actually for a dessert. So keep in mind that you don't have to make desserts like this huge high protein thing where it gives you amount of, the same amount of protein as like a meal that has your meat and stuff like that. If you're getting 18, 19 grams of protein from a dessert, it's a high protein dessert. So about 18, 19 grams of protein, 34 grams of carbs. So not too high in carbs actually. And that's because we're using that sugar-free jelly and about nine grams of fat, which is gonna come from the scotch finger, basically. That's, that's where, to be honest, that's where most of the calories are coming from, is from the, the two scotch fingers. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And yeah, so 300, roughly 300 calories and 18, 19 grams of protein, that's what you're looking at for one of these trifle style, because it's technically not a traditional one, trifle style desserts. Okay, so now it's your turn. I actually really want you to try this out. Okay, so thank you, TikTok video that I watched sometime in the last few weeks, I can't remember exactly where. Thank you for this recipe because it's actually a really good one. I'll probably make this again, if I'm being honest. So now what I want you to do is I want you to make this yourself. Okay, I want you to make this recipe yourself and I want you to post it on Instagram, post it on Facebook, post it whatever, and tag me at Alex, that the climbing dietitian, okay, tag me at the climbing dietitian so I can see your creations. And comment below, okay, comment below now and tell me what is like your favorite dessert ever? Like if you could eat that most of the time, what would be your favorite dessert? Then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to see how I can make a more macro-friendly version of it, okay? Who knows? But I just wanna see, I just wanna hear what your favorite desserts are. For me, it varies, but to be honest, like if you're here in Australia, you might know it, but the double, Double Thick Chalk Custard by Paul's brand or whatever it is. It's not saying that I always have a dessert, but it's always something that I crave when I'm thinking about dessert. But yeah, there's all these desserts out there that I wouldn't mind having, but yeah. I feel like I'll put myself on the spot. I'm asking you the question now, I'll put myself on the spot, and I can't remember what my favorite dessert ever will be. Well, whatever, I'll, I'll answer it in the comments when you answer which one is yours, okay? So drop it in the comments below, let me know what your favorite dessert is. I want you to hit the like button if this video was fun for you. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. So I know that you've enjoyed it. I know that this has been a winner of a, of a recipe video. As always, subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can stay in the loop. Whenever I release videos like this, where I release recipes that I like to make and that I give to my clients. And if you just want to learn more about nutrition as well, I do educational videos as well. So subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until the next time, stay classy, stay safe. Talk to you then. See you later. Bye.